Welcome everyone, it's Vapish Dracomar. It's time for some more Raid Shadow Legends. In this episode, we will be continuing on our quest of doom to do some crazy stuff with that. I have to look at what keep is open and try to do it. So yeah, I've been uh, doing some leveling on here, trying to recover some of the food. Um, I will have to do some arena as well. Um, I did some leveling off screen, but not too much. Because obviously Drexthar needs some leveling because he needs to start getting towards a higher level faster one thing i like about him is every time you hit him he, he gets burned which that may not seem like an amazing passive, but it most definitely is. Especially something you need burns for. Because yes, he's rank 6, but that doesn't mean that he's not... He has to get to 60 now, because each time you reset the level cap, like the system remains the same with that. It remains a constant. I'm going to have to probably spend some of my tag arena points on energy just because I already have the direct star but I don't I don't have the um the means to level him and food for new champs and that's going to be a bit of a problem so Because I've got to do a lot of stuff. In order to get these champions up to par. Okay, so... Let us see here. How do we want to set this up? Let's just try it. I'm not saying this is going to work, but we might as well try. Drekstar is not yet at the point where I'd use him in Arena. I'm going to go for a Valley of Death here. That'll be good. 
Got him with that. Because, yeah, Drakstar, even if I were to use him in Arena, he has to be a high level. He has to be a high level to do that. Mm. We can try, but this is going to be tricky. We have to try to kill Zargala. I'm going to go for that. I have to go for the Zargala. Zargala is a massive threat. If I don't take her out of the picture, she's going to be a massive issue. I'm going to go for him first. Because I think he's a problem. And we cut him out of the equation. That might be good. I bet he does. Ah, oh, he doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, that's good to know. That's it. That's bad. Okay. He has a lot of health. Mm. I'm not sure what to do here other than try to... Um, let's aim from left to right. I'll take it. Well, we'll take two, and then we'll do some tag arena. Unfortunately, I may have to use some of my Tagarina points for energy just to try to avoid going broke on gems. Because I already have the Direct Star, I just need to level these champions. It takes a lot of work to level a champion. It's, it's a long grind. Because eventually, where's my Vogoth, I wonder. Okay, he's right there. 
because I was like, I'm about to say, I have a, I have a Vogoth. Because, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I have enough tag points for some other purchases, ironically, involving Tag Arena. Because one thing that's ironic about having Drexthar is once you have him, you're going to need to spend your tomes in something else. Because, yeah. Might as well. Because, yeah, it's very hard to um, find enough energy each day to get the champions where you need them. I mean, it takes a full week to recharge that anyway. So we might as well. I still have 400 left. There we go, just... I mean... There's that energy fuel, but... The amount of energy I'm going to be having tonight to have to spend is going to be significant because I have to I have to try to level a lot of champions. That's the problem. I have to do a lot of dungeons and stuff. Because, you see, I don't normally spend tokens on that. But, at this point, I might as well.
at this point, I might as well. Because at this point, the only real way to improve my Drexthar, what I've got, is by spending energy. That's the truth of the matter. Gotta keep going. Like normally, I see the thing is, I don't really like that it has a cooldown, but it's gonna have a cooldown anyway because it's an expensive purchase. It expends that much for that much energy. Decreases turn meter there. It's not terrible. There are so many champions in this game. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, we should be able to get him. There we go. Increased attack should do it. that All right I hit him with the decreased defense trying to corner this rector drath got him Got him. Dang it. 
failed. Failed to show it. Because again, I have to try to get some energy by some means. Okay, we got an amulet. Let's do some of this. Ovino. I'll take it. Give me that. Here we go. Here's one. So this looks like a newer player. It's interesting. Take both of them down. This looks very annoying. This looks like we want to block debuffs. Summon three champs. Well, I already summoned all my regular shards up. So now it's just down to these. Or purchase an item at the market. Definitely purchasing those. Uh, four artifact attempts. Probably on him. One, two, three, four. Raise the champion's level in the tavern. Oh, I thought it was going to bug. Thought it was going to bug. Oh, yeah, th three times. Well, I think you know who I'm going to be increasing in the tavern. I think... I think you know who that is, right? I think you know. Um, all right. So what we're going to want to do is we're uh, going to want to do some spider and some fire knight. Um, yeah, exactly what we're going to want to do. Man, it feels so weird to actually have Drexthar on my team. That actually feels really weird. And to have like a burn 
that just goes right on him. Dang, that feels weird. You know what's even weirder? If I put some other suckers on there. here how are you supposed to approach this see I think I actually have a very good fire and eye team right now like it might be the best one I've got in a long time There's one thing I like about having a burn that's always on the spider, pretty much no matter what, is the fact that um, it makes it so that the spider has severe issues. every time the spider tries to cope with it the spider's going to have increasing issues I could probably do spider 11 relatively comfortably now that this is the case I mean I don't want to push my luck or anything but it's pretty slick Pretty slick. All right. Let's put some people who need help in here. Food and others who need help. Ma mainly food. Mainly food because I need to start forging more food. Yeah, no. Yes. Yep. is we might as well start giving him more levels. Make him live out different areas of campaign, like the good old sewers. Living out the sewers, the sewer life. Wow, he's, he's starting to do mad damage. He is starting to do mad damage. Like, this guy is supporting to become really evil.
I'm beginning to think he might actually be the keys to Nightmare. You ever think about that? He might actually be able to take on Nightmare Kazar. I think he's at that point now. Because here's the thing. Elhain is actually bad versus Nightmare. Drexthar may not be. Drexthar might actually be good versus Nightmare. I'm starting to think that. I'm starting to think that I'm starting to think that he would be good in Nightmare. Let's try it actually. As dumb as that sounds. Because I want to see if I can get him a lot of XP and make even more ridiculous progress by going through Nightmare. I don't know if I can beat it, but we'll see. Because I might need certain stuff to beat it. Drexthar, though, it seems like the type. He seems like the type that would do that. These lizards are interesting, but this guy is really not good to have on your team. Primarily because he's basically food. He's, uh, he's pretty weak. He's pretty weak. Alright, let's do something nasty. Let's go to Nightmare. Let's try to get to the end of Valdemar straight. Uh, we're going to need a special team forged just for this purpose, though. Because this is going to be rough. Like, really rough. All right. See, the one reason why Drexthar is so good for this is because every time they um every time they attack him, they get burned. And that usually causes him a lot of trouble. See, Elhane is not very good in this situation. Because he, um, Elhane has issues with these style of enemies. See, Drexthar is very good for this. Like, if I can make it more durable, because of this constant burning that they feel. Now, while he may not be strong enough yet, you can already see he's far stronger than 
than El Hain for this matter. You can already see it. His gear and his levels aren't exactly at nightmare degree, but you can already see it. You can already see it. Cause he, he just needs to get to that that point where he's stronger, Drexthar. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to make a killing with it. We're definitely going to want to focus on the Abyss. Because the Abyss is going to be their main carry. I just realized there's two of them. The one thing I like... about the AI sometimes is they do dumb things like attack Vogoth a lot. Now if I can just get Drexthar to a stronger state he can actually just like blow up Nightmare Campaign. Straight up blow it up. Like he can't do it right now obviously but he's already on his way. <sighs> he needs more stats. But yeah, this is what uh, Hard Doom Tower is kind of also like. It's like kind of like this, like Nightmare Campaign. In a way, now this we're going to want to put decreased defense. We're going to want to get it provoke. We're going to want to slowly chip away at Sir Nicholas. Mainly because Sir Nicholas hits like a cannon. Uh huh. There's a reason I'm focusing Sir Nick is because I know that if I don't get him out of the equation, if I can, he will kick my butt. This isn't easy and it's quite repetitive at this point, but if we could have kept Drexthar alive maybe... I'm even thinking of putting more defense in here. Um, that could have allowed for potentially a better run. I'm thinking Sill would be good because Sill could then control these waves of minions. I 
I still have to try to kill him. It's not easy, but that's the kind of deal we got here. It's a pretty raw deal. If we kill him, though, I'm pretty sure the rest of their team will fall apart. It was going to take a while. Okay, we got him. Now for Relic Keeper. We're going to want to get rid of Relic Keeper now. As I'm pretty sure Relic Keeper is their second big carry. Note how long Virgus is surviving for. This is a testament to his defensive capabilities. I'm hoping to pull a Sir Nick later, but pulling a cold heart is almost as good. And more realistic. Because pulling Sir Nick is incredibly rare. Hell, I might even pull Leorius before pulling a Sir Nick, but who knows. Because there's no fusions for either one. I mean, even, surely Leorius should have a fusion, right? Make him like a tag arena event. Like maybe make it so that you only can get him when you get to gold. Or something. Like, come on, man. Like, well, why, why can't there be some way you can just earn Leorius over like a hundred days or something like Drexthar? Like, give me a reason why there can't be a way to earn some of these champions like that. You know? Earn Sir Nicholas. Or earn. Earn some of these suckers. Earn a man eater. Like, I know this is a long run, but I want to try to see if I could just straight up beat it. It's not easy either way, but it would have been quicker if Drexthar lived. Would have been quicker. But yeah, um, if uh, Delta is watching, this is what Virgus can do. This. Kind of shenanigans. Killing this guy, though, is obscenely annoying. Because the, what they do at this point in the game, or Nightmare, is they just buff out all the stats of the characters. The trouble is, it's so brutal that ignoring just one level 
like just doing one level of that just is annoying. As you can clearly see, doing even one level of that is black. It's so hard that it's like you can barely do anything. Like, Drexler still will eventually get to the point where he can facilitate that. But right now, he's not at that point. He's not at the uh, facilitation mark. He's not at that point. I mean, he might be able to beat this guy up pretty bad. But yeah, he's not at that point. He needs to be at 60. He needs better. He needs his gear upgraded or better gear. He needs special stuff to do that. Because he has to become tanky enough that he's like on par with my strongest fighters. And stronger than El Hain. He has to be able to withstand trial by fire I like how this guy literally just is able to stare into the face. Of, do you see how amazing this character is? Does anyone see this? Do you know how few characters could have done that? That this is why this is why we do the tag team arena mission. Mm, not many of these are fun. This has got Scartosis of Doom. And it's a higher team power than me, but I gotta try it. Because I don't want to blow all my gems. Trying to get her out of the way. Now I just have to kill the Scartosis. Sounds like an easy mission, but I assure you it's not. I assure you that killing Scartosis is one of the most annoying things to ever try to do. Because Scartosis is a vermin. Now, he might be easier with Drexthar once I get Drexthar to the right. Once I get Drexthar to the right point, then maybe Drexthar can deal with him. But it still will be difficult because one thing he does that's super obnoxious is he cleanses debuffs from himself. Which makes him very annoying to face, even as a debuffer. So that is one of the things to keep in mind. Um, what's open? Lizard men and dwarves. I can't beat the dwarf crypt. Because I need... I need my nuker 
to be stronger. That's my problem. Because Gala Longbraids is a great nuker of the dwarf faction. But she needs to be stronger. And I need to upgrade this. So now we're going to be upgrading Direct Star a little more. And to do another spider battle. Um I just want to do an experiment. And I know it's going to sound kind of troll, but what would happen if I put a Vizier, a Direct Star, and some other nasty stuff all on the same team? Um, now, while I can level other champions for this endeavor, I'm thinking at least for right now, I'm going to want to level him exclusively for this purpose. Because I want to rush his level. Yeah, let's, let's just rush his level. So that way... And the problem with the other thing, as you may have seen in Nightmare, it's just very hard and very tedious to get through Nightmare. I may end up doing it anyway, just to kick their butt more. That and Spider. But, um... I want to try to level up Drickstar maybe to 50. Um... He's not as tanky as I want him to be. But he regens rather well. So there's that. Because see, the thing about getting to 6 star is then after you get him to 6 star... You gotta, you, you have to level them again. So that's part of what makes this so tough. I'm trying to get him to that break point. Maybe I'll get another Templar, try to use the Templars to upgrade Templar's skill or Bommel or something. I'm trying to think of a very devious team comp that I could use. I wonder how good Drexthar is versus Hollowed Hills. I'm, ju I'm intensely curious. Like at this point, how good is he versus this? Uh -huh. Pretty good, actually. Pretty bloody good. Not bad. You see the potential, though, of Drexthar? Like, they can't deal with the burn. They can't deal with it. It straight up blows them to shreds. 
See, this is why Direct Star is a miracle. This is why. It's why he's worth the ridiculous amount of effort investment to get him. AI can't can't wait to fall for him. They can't wait. They can't wait to fall for this man. They can't wait to get owned. Get owned. Get owned. All right, I want to just mess around with termite. Because that would be hilarious. And start the Minotaur mission. I want to try something nasty versus Minotaur, like really nasty. I want to try some direct star shenanigans. I want to try some direct star shenanigans. Because, man, I don't like to do this on auto, but... I want to see what he's like on auto first. No, don't kill my direct star, you vermin. Oh, no. No, that's bad. Don't kill him. Don't kill the man. Or the D-man. Man, the resist on this sucker is nasty. Okay. Uh huh. You hit him, you get burned. You get burned. You get burned if you do it. You get burned if you do it. You get burned. He's on fire, and every time he tries, he catches on fire. It's more fire. Yeah, this this guy is gonna be burning down relatively quick. See how fast Drexthar burns him? Look at that. His health is just getting melted. Look at that. Look at that. Anyone see that? That's his might. That is the might of Drexthar right there. Let's do a termite battle. But we're going to do something special this time. We're going to put Drexthar Vizier in the next episode. Stay tuned. <laughs>